tree, hex tree, reap all about it. Gore back in office. Hello, headline hunters. Let's turn to the entertainment section for today's gruesome news slash. A gory story I call Crypt Keeper Replaced by Vault Keeper. <laughs> what? <laughs> if it's in the paper, it must be true. And remember, the rule for today is reduce. Reuse. Recycle. <laughs> and voila! Hello, kiddies. <clears throat> Hello, kiddies. <clears throat> Hello, kiddies. Well, since I'm in the news, I'll just have to bite the bulletin and deliver a juicy bit of journalism from the obituaries I call... I call... All the gory details. Cromwell's gruesome experiments. Mad Doctor recreates life. Mad Doctor vanishes. <laughs> Until now, that is. hadn't exposed him, Dr. Cromwell might actually have succeeded in creating artificial life. And that was over 40 years ago. First rule of reporting, sweetie. My name is Sally. People don't believe nothing unless they see it with their own eyes. You need ace photos to back up a crazy story like this. Crazy? I have been researching Dr. Cromwell's laboratory experiments for almost a year. Sure, but the story ain't gonna write itself. Which is why I'm here. Seeing as how it's your first big story and all, the boss wanted me to tag along. Coming along was your idea. I'm just here to help. In case you start screwing things up. Yes, it's my first big story, but believe me, Mr. Clump, I am not about to screw it up. Whoa. I've already invested an entire year of my life, and the only one counting on this paying off more than me is the boss. And I'm bringing him a front-page headline. Oh, listen. Next time you decide to drag me along, oh, get yourself a full-size card. Whoa. As I was saying, when you've been a reporter as long as me, it's like you hardly need your brain anymore. Tell me about it. Yep. You go by what your gut tells you instead. Ew. Pardon the onion, sweetie. in a town within 50 miles of here. Watch it! If I knew you were gonna drop it, I never would've let you carry it. I guess that's what happens when you let a skirt do a man's job. Yeah, you can say that again.
I hope you didn't break it, because I... <laughs> Sorry if I startled you. Now, you folks aren't from around here, are you? No, we're report... Oh! Tourists. We're, uh, tourists. Just passing through. How nice. We don't get many folks traveling through these parts, especially on a night like tonight. Oh, really? Well, your town must have something interesting to see. Perhaps even someone famous. <clears throat> oh, you must mean, uh, Jed Farlin. Who? Old Jed Farlin just dug himself the deepest well in the county. A well? <laughs> Afraid that'd be the only thing special around here, ma'am. I got a bad back, you know. Enjoy your stay. Hmm. Looks like the power's on. Ah! <laughs> uh. No need to be scared tonight, darling. <laughs> I'm right next door. Darn lights. Ouch. Where's the blasted closet? A connecting door. You okay, Mr. Clump? Yeah, I I just uh, dropped my comb. <laughs> Good night. A wild goose chase is what this is. Around here, like to keep to themselves mainly. Pay attention, honey, and watch me get the goods on the good doctor. <laughs> this sure is a lot of film. Keeping a good stock, you know that way I can take pictures of anything interesting, if you know what I mean. Sure do. If you want interesting, you should see Jed Farland's new, new well. well. Uh, you already seen it? Listen. What we're really interested in is trying to locate a Dr. Cromwell. A doctor, yeah. Uh, for my back. Oh, oh. Know of any good doctors in town? Oh. oh Wilf's about the closest thing to a doctor in these parts. Wilf's more of an animal doctor, but he's real good. Mr. Clump? Mr. Clump? What do you think you're doing? What am I doing? In there, getting all chummy. Can't you see they're playing games with us? Those people are hiding something, and I'm going to find out what it is. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Clump, if you don't mind... Ah, uh, you don't have to beg, sweetheart. I'll gladly show you how it's done. Come on, for the last time, Spill. All right, I'll make it 50 bucks to tell me where Dr. Cromwell's hiding out. Gee, thanks, mister. But I told you, the only doctor I know is Wilf. He sure fixed up Max's leg real good. Forget it. Hey! <laughs> uh, uh, take it easy, boy. Down, boy. Down, boy. As I was saying... <laughs> There ain't no mad scientist around here. Making people by stitching spare parts together. Mm. Only thing they have in this town are dogs and... <coughs> wells. And the only story in this town is... There ain't no story. Hope you're writing all this down, kid, because I ain't likely to repeat it. <coughs> oh. oh, sorry, doll. Hey! Hey! Where are you going? You forgot the camera. And me! Good 
Good evening, sir. We were wondering... All right, buddy, where's Cromwell? Great! Now we're never gonna get a look inside. Don't get your pantyhose in a knot. I'll think of something. As always. <sighs> Like I was saying, my back could go out any second. Can't trust it, you know. Tell me about it. I don't feel right about this, Mr. Clump. We're breaking in. Not breaking, sweetie. <laughs> ah. Ooh. I forgot the camera. No problem. I didn't forget mine. <laughs> Seeing as how I'm a gentleman and, uh, and you're out of batteries, <laughs> dame's first. Ah! Great Caesar's ghost! Wow. I did the research. I knew it was true. But until now, I guess I wasn't really sure. Ah! Something tells me that the good doctor didn't do so good on his final exams. All these years trying to create artificial life, and he failed. Time to cut the chit-chat and start taking pictures. This is the biggest story of my career. Okay, sweet cakes, I got the headline. Get this down. Uh, Mr. Clump? Dictation. Veteran reporter Harold Clump penetrates the mind of modern-day mad scientist. Mr. Clump! No, I said make it Harold Clump. It's less formal. After exhaustive research... Mr. Clump! Not now, kid. I'm in the middle of... Never life. mind you. Where's the camera? The camera? Did you get the pictures? The pictures? Should have picked a better room to run into. Me? You said quick in here. You're always pointing fingers, aren't you? I wouldn't be 
here if it wasn't for you. I don't recall inviting you along. Oh, sure. It was okay when I was running the show, but now... The only running you were doing is from the dog. Ha! If it wasn't for me, you, you, you'd be a Jet Farland's well. And you'd be inside it taking pictures. You'll never make it in this business, and you want to know why? Why? Why have they stopped? What is it you want? Of course. You want this. What are you doing? Don't you see? They don't want to hurt us. They just want to be left alone. Like these mutations can even think? She's right. The world outside would never accept these life forms. Life forms? You mean mistakes, don't you, buddy? You can't hide it anymore. Where's Cromwell? Sadly, Dr. Cromwell is no more. Yeah. You sure you're not Cromwell? I, as you so aptly put it, am one of my late master's mistakes. That's why Dr. Cromwell ran away. To protect these creatures. To protect you. Yes. Here we are safe, hidden away from a world which would not accept us. Although grotesque, we mean no harm. And neither do we. We're not reporting this story. Give him the camera. What? Do it. Oh, I get it. Thank you. Now, I must ask you to leave. That was a great trick you pulled in there. You're right. Who needs the pictures as long as we back each other up, right? I meant what I said. I'm not reporting this story. What? I have had it up to here with you. First rule this, second rule that. Now, hold on a second, sister. No! No more sister, no sweetheart, no darling sweet cakes, nothing. Uh, uh, My uh, name is Sally. But, but And you, Mr. Harold Clump, are on your own. Uh, as far as this story uh, goes, it's your word against mine, and I didn't see anything. And if that means uh, uh, never having to work with you again, that suits me just fine. Hey, you back. Shh. Who needs you? I'll find my own way back. Sure, you never work in this business again! Ha! Ah, dames! I'll show her who wins on this one. I'll have the whole news crew here within an hour. <coughs> Folks in these parts don't like people poking noses in other people's business. Take your hand off the phone, buddy. I got an important. <laughs> Yo! Ah! Oh, Sheriff! Oh, what a relief! You gotta help me! That man, he... You too! Ah! 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 All of you? The whole town? You're all Dr. Cromwell's creation? First rule of checkers. Never, Never forget, forget to, to crown, crown your, your opponent's man. man. <laughs> yeah, when you've been playing checkers as long as me, it's like you hardly need your brain anymore, you know? <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, <clears throat> as I was saying, there was this one time I remember. Could have sworn there wasn't a town within 50 miles of here. So, there you have it, Scream Scholars, a prime case of irresponsible journalism. Psst! Have you 
checked out this month's slime magazine? <laughs> Field and scream? <laughs> or best of all, readers <laughs> digested? <laughs> Was I? Oh, yes, I was about to remark that in the end, Clump had more than the story sewn up. <laughs> you could even say that he had a few new headlines for the morning edition. <laughs> so until next time, Fright fans, bon appetit! <laughs>